Hey, it's Random Goat here, and today I want to show you a little program I created that simply pops up or alert us every x seconds or x minutes. And it was inspired by a comment which asked for a problem similar to this. So how it works now is simply when this application is loaded, then after 5 seconds this alert is going to pop up. Then whenever I close the alert, I'm then going to restart a timeline, which we're going to look at afterwards, which then after 5 seconds again pops up the alert. We then end up in, for now, the infinite loop where after 5 seconds, when the alert is closed, open it again. We could then probably change it to say if the alert was clicked on OK, it shouldn't pop up again because now we have like accepted the terms or something like that. So let's have a look at how it works. Inside we can, our controller, we then have this timeline as mentioned. Then have my timeline called alert timer. And then very simply, we then have a keyframe in this timeline where we define how often, or when we start the timeline, how long do we wait for this action or this event to execute. In this case, just to find that we wait five seconds, we could bump this to a large amount of seconds, we do duration dot minutes as well. And then our event is simply gonna be show alert, which is a method we have that simply reach the alert. So just to go through how it works, we have our alert alert equal new alert the type of alert in this case it's confirmation alert we then set a title we set some text inside the alert and we then have an optional button type result so whenever the alert is so alert to short wait means open the alert and whenever the alert is then closed we would then have the returned result inside this one as either being empty so if it was just closed it would could then be the button type okay which was clicked, or button type cancel, which was clicked. And then simply doing it this way, we're going to simply check. In the case of closing the application, in this case, I'm just printing some stuff to the console, but alert closed, button OK was pressed, print OK, button cancel was pressed, print never. But then the important part is when the application is closed in some way, we then have our alert timer.play. So we then restart the alert timer. And then we also have initialize, so just whenever the program is loaded, so whenever the scene is going, we also start the load time. So it's actually quite simple. We start the program, alert timer is started, which then waits five seconds, and then calls show alert, which then starts the alert. And the alert timer just runs one time and then stops. So now I click OK, we print. OK to the console, and the alert timer is started again. One thing to mention that's actually quite important about this, and what make it a bit more confusing at first if you're just doing it, is that we need to have our alert run inside something called platform.run later, which pushes it to a Java X thread. So we're simply doing it on a different thread that our alert timer, which allow us to then restart it from inside an alert. So we're not restarting the same alert on the same thread, we're doing it on like a different thread. So we need this platform that run later, box around our show alert. And we're doing it with like a lambda function, but we could also do it the same way doing platform but run later and create a new runnable where we overwrite run and then inside run, we would just put all this information. But just get it's important because the way of JavaFX is set up that we can't call uh what's gonna be the problem is that we can't call alert show and wait on the same thread that we're running an alert timer. Because then something is running on this thread in the background, and we want something to be running that's waiting, and we can't have two things running on the same thread. So we need to do it in a different JavaFX thread. So that's the basic concept. Start an alert, and well, then you close the alert then restart the timer that then starts the alert. And then this way we have this loop where closing the alert starts the timer, the timer then starts the alert and we then keep going. And we then simply just do instead of having the alert timer to play whenever the button OK is pressed, we just remove this for example. So now if the alert is just closed, it would reappear. But if we click OK, it would stop reappearing. So if I click cancel, Information to come back in five seconds. 
But if I now click OK, alert's not going to come back. So we could create some program where we want the user to accept some kind of terms condition, for example. And if they don't, it will reappear after X seconds, X minutes. But if they do, it stops. So that is the basic concept. And I will leave a link in the description to this source code. I'll probably put it inside uh, GitHub list. And in general, if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.